Avast ye dogs so blah 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 Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try again in three, two, one. Avast ye salty dwellers of YouTube I be your captain for a day. I blah 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 Pirate talk is difficult is difficult you see for I be Captain Wolfganger, your let's player for the day, bringing you Sid Meier's Pirates. And why would I be bringing this let's play to you today? For it be September 19th, talk like a pirate day. Now then, with introductions out of the way, allow me to explain this game to you. In this game, you play as a young man out in a quest for vengeance and family. What you must sail the seas of the Caribbean, raid and pl pillage all that crossed your path in an effort to save your beloved family and acquire personal glory. There will be battles on s at sea, sword fights at land, taverns and brawls, and maidens of a plenty. Now, with this introduction out of the way, let us avast play Sid Meier's Pirates. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montalban, a family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow. Carrying both their hopes and their salvation. <laughs> but the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. The Marquis himself arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost. And the debt had come due. <laughs> the family's property was seized. And they were pressed into bondage. But one of them would not be a slave. And so it was that the brave young Sion escaped his family's fate, swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later, now grown to his full measure, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Seeking passage to the new world, ye inquire at the public house. If ye be looking for passage to the Americas, ye can sign up here. Now with a short break for my brother and from my brother. Now I now uh, he says he's sorry for interrupting my recording. I just need to uh, send a quick message. As it just so happens, today, September 19th, Talk Like a Pirate Day is also the birth of my mother. Um, let me see here. So I um, just text her real quickly. I apologize for this, by the way. I'll cut. I'll cut. I'll cut this out. All right. Hey, everybody, back from my uh, uh, advent. Well, oh, did I just? I guess I just entered the name. Wow, lovely. Okay, I didn't want to. Uh, uh, whatever. I was gonna say that I don't know if I wanted to call him Wolfganger because you know I'm Wolfganger and I, I don't know if I'm really referring to myself and uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, today is my mother's birthday and. Uh, my brother wanted me to text her uh, in his in his steed because he uh, missed my mother's birthday, and uh, we are all kind of upset at him. Anyway, so talk like a pirate day. You may notice I'm not talking like a pirate right now. Why? Because it's killing my throat. 
So, um... Yeah, there we go. I should have mentioned all that. Anyway, all that was, you know, uh, difficulty setting, what we're good at, and error. Error affects, like, what kind of ships are around and all that. Now, this is kind of important. You pick, you know, what your starting fleet is and all that. Uh, okay, let's see here. We got the French, the Spanish, the Dutch, and the English. And uh, my heritage is Dutch, and he's got some apples there, so we may, maybe we'll prevent scurvy. Ahoy, welcome aboard, Mr. Wolfganger. We sail with the tide. Now, I don't know a Dutch accent. Oh, oh God, well, the crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. I, the captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Pushed beyond all decency, the crew mutinies. Yeah, how do we get up there? And under full sail, the ship and its crew at your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. A family to rescue. Revenge to be served. And a voice to read to bury. Your destiny awaits you. <laughs> well, that was quite something. Ah, welcome everybody. Uh, we are now in the Dutch capital of Saint Eust. I'm not very good at that. You may have to forgive me for that. So, first thing I'm going to do, visit the tavern. The tavern is where you can uh, get information from bar wenches, uh, pub masters. You can buy treasure from merchants. And you can recruit crew members, which we will do. Welcome aboard, lads. What have you got? Just... I only got 10 gold in my name. Forget that. And let's see, barmaid, what do you have? It's rumored that the St. Vincent, bound for Petit Goeve, be carrying over a thousand in gold. Avast, I believe she be a French merchantman, the barmaid whispers. So, we're here, and it's going this way. So, uh, we'll be on the way for that. What do you have to say? This town be busting at the seams, an Indian attack might run off some of the riffraff. I don't know, for some reason they're all... Whew, okay, oh my goodness. Um, Alright, next on the list is to visit the governor. The governor is kind of like y how you relate with the countries that are in the Caribbean. As you may know, there are a lot of, there were a lot of countries in the Caribbean at this point in history, like the 1600s. There was a lot of, there was a big rush to colonize North America and, you know, the Americas in general. It was a new land and plenty of riches to be had. Spain had already made quite great progress, but now it was time for the other countries to come in, England, France, and the Dutch. And, uh, as you can imagine, there were several wars involving this, and, uh, we may get involved. Shiver me timbers, ye be in interested to know that we be at war with the evil Spanish. Avast, I be pleased to offer a letter of Marquis which authorizes ye to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. At this map will show the nearest enemy city be the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies a long distance to the west. Right there. A fact, a juicy Spanish coastal barqui bar was seen this morning heading in that direction. Shiver me timbers. Till next time, Mr. Wolfganger. There we go. Okay. So, 
We can kind of, you know, do countries favors. As a pirate, we can be hired as privateers, which was a very common thing. Uh, England had a Sir Francis Drake, who, uh, a hero to the English and a scourge to, uh, you know, settlers in the New World. He was a, he was a pirate who was hired by the English uh, to pretty much mess with the Spanish is shipping of gold and goods from the New World to the, uh, to their homeland. And, uh, we can do that. In fact, we have been sent that letter of marquee, which is government permission to attack other countries. So we have that now, and we can do that. Next up is trade with the merchant. And this should be explanatory. Our goods are on the left, their goods are on the right. What we want to do is we want to buy... Well, normally we want to buy goods, but we don't have a terrible amount of money. So, um... These are the prices. Now, prices will change in various cities depending and at various times. So, you know, when we come back here later, you know, these prices not be at the same. So, you can kind of maybe almost sort of buy goods cheap somewhere and sell them, you know, profitable elsewhere. But I I'm not going to do that. I'm basically going to get my goods for free from somebody else, which is known as plundering for those who are unaware. And uh, consult with the ship right is next. Basically, he uh, repairs your ship and, you know, upgrades it. And you can also sell ships here, so, you know. Uh, check status, I guess, is just sort of seeing how you're doing overall. Divide the plunder. We don't have plunders. We can't divide it. This basically, uh, your crew is kind of annoying. They don't like to be out, for sea, out at sea for, you know, months and months and months and months and months. And uh, they'll start to get uppity as time goes on. And uh, event you know, there are ways to mitigate this, but there aren't ways to prevent it. Eventually, they'll just get so uppity that they're just going to throw you off the ship and uh, you'll be trapped for a while. So that kind of sucks. The way to avoid this is divide the plunder, give them money, get rid of them, make them all happy, wait a year, and come back, try and find some more crew, and start your pirating business all over again. Um... You will age as time goes on, so try and, I want to say try and extend the period, the times between, you know, plundering, dividing the plunder, and all that. Um, the more plunder you have, the happier your crew will be, and the more, you know, points you'll get at the end of the, the set, the game, or whatever, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Well, okay, so, uh, welcome to the, my number lock. No, let, let's see, let's sail away from here. Well. Uh, sorry about that. That that would be known as a error. Okay, so now we're chasing after this. Why do we? What do we even have this ship? What? I don't even know what ship we have. But whatever, we're attacking this one. So whoa, we have a brigantine. Oh, that's cool. I think brigantines are good. I'm not entirely sure about ship types. Anyway, so as you can see at the bottom right, we have sort of uh, you know, basic controls. Whoa. And if we hit five, we'll shoot cannonballs, which is awesome. So in the bottom left, you'll see how many guns we have loaded, as well as wind direction and wind speed. This uh, game is pretty good about, um, you know, whoa, directing, you know, your wind speed and all that. And because if we fly this way, we're not going to be going that fast. And all right. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 take that. Yeah. Why not? And uh, so yeah, that can happen. You can eventually scare ships so much that they won't uh, put up a fight. And yeah, unfortunately, that did cut my explanation a bit short. To take ships, you require extra crew. To you know man the ship, and. Uh, there was going to be a French guy around here somewhere, right? Maybe, maybe um, just in the wrong place, wrong time, maybe? Anyway, so we're, we're, we're planning on keeping this, this, this ship. Uh, just to kind of keep goods on it, in my opinion. Just, you know, whatever, right? Now, uh, if you go to the ship, right, we can, we can repair. Which is what I want to do. And uh, go to the merchant real quick and... Uh, Sell everything. Let's get rid of these luxury goods. Let's get rid of this spice. And uh, let's get rid of this this 
these regular goods. I guess this is like furniture and wood and timber and all that other stuff. And we'll just buy some uh, food for a couple months just to be perfectly ready. And time to sail again.